Hey everyone, today I'm going to be showing you my invisibility shield and then showing you how it works. So everything that you're about to see is real footage without any editing whatsoever. So I have here an invisibility shield and what it can do is make some things appear invisible. For example, take my laser pen here, slide it behind the invisibility shield and suddenly it disappears. So not only can you make objects disappear, but I can even make myself disappear. So watch as you can clearly see the background, but suddenly I disappear. So how is this invisibility shield working? Well, let me draw two lines to help explain it. Notice how only the green line is visible now, not the gray line. But when I turn it this way, now only the gray line's visible. And you can see this a little bit clearer when I shine a laser light on this. So I have a tiny dot here with my laser, but notice what happens when I shine it through the invisibility shield now. So you can see it on the card up there, but it's making a straight line on the paper below. So what it's doing is it's making a point source of light spread out into a straight line. Now you've actually seen this effect before on brushed steel. Now watch what happens when I shine my laser light on my fridge here. Look at the straight line it makes on the floor. So notice how no matter where I shine it, it shines right back at the camera. Point it down, I get a reflection back at the camera. Up, a reflection back at the camera. Now the reason that's happening is because the surface of the brushed metal looks somewhat like this. So there's grooves in it from when it was brushed. So what this does is, no matter what angle the light comes in at, it spreads it out like this. So if you're shining the light straight on like this, this will come in straight, and it'll head back in this direction. If the light's coming in straight on this part, it'll head in this direction. If the light's coming in straight in this part, it'll head in this direction. So no matter where you're shining it, even if it's all vertical, So no matter how you're shining it, if it comes in straight, it's gonna end up being spread out like this in a straight line. In, in this case, we're looking at a 2D dimension of it, so the straight line would be like the edge of this paper here. So this would now be your straight line. So it's the same thing that's happening with this invisibility shield here, only that instead of reflecting it, it's letting it pass through. So basically, just like my fridge reflects light in a straight line, this makes light pass through it and gets turned into a straight line. For example, look at my light bulb on the ceiling. It turns it into a line. Okay, so the way this is working is it's taking light sources and turning them into smeared lines. So it's basically smearing an image in one direction. And so the way that can make me appear invisible, let's take the part where I had the green screen behind me. The way that that made me seem invisible is because in that case, I'm vertical. And so my light wasn't very bright that was being spread. And so it didn't look like I was there compared to the bright green because the green had a lot of light to smear. So it was very bright and it overpowered the image of me being smeared across it. And so it appeared as though I were just invisible. So even though my image was still there, it was smeared out so much that you couldn't really see it, especially compared to the bright background. So this invisibility shield only works when you have the thing that you're trying to disappear going the opposite direction to background lines in the background. And so it takes a very specific set of conditions in order to make something appear invisible with this. Nevertheless, it still makes things look pretty invisible in some situations, which is pretty neat. 
Now what's interesting is that if we can make something like this that turns all light that hits it into a straight line of light, that means we could actually make something that turns it into any image we want. So this is a diffractive optical element. And what it does is instead of just making point sources of light turn into a straight line, it can make point sources of light turn into an actual image. Okay, so I'm just going to shine my laser on my diffractive optical element here and watch what it can make. So I have a point source now, but when it hits this part of the DOE, it makes a constellation with stars. <laughs> so cool. And then if I shine it up here, it can make an image of the Earth. And when I pan it along it, it makes it look like the Earth is spinning. Now this smearing of light in a straight line actually has a name and it's called chatoyancy. It's what you see in gems sometime when you see kind of a straight line reflection. It's also called the cat's eye effect. It can also happen when the image of the sun is reflected off rippling water. You kind of see a straight line of light coming off of the sun. Or it can happen in the rain when you see tail lights reflecting off the rain on the ground. Basically, whenever there's little ripples that the light can reflect off of, it'll end up spreading it out in a straight line like this. It's also the same effect that you see on a CD when you see straight streaks of light that spread out in a rainbow. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest video's out. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.